we had prophet moses my ears of heart my ears of soul my ears of spirit can hear prophet moses giving his message of freedom to mankind we can hear the holy spirit of god jesus christ giving his message of salvation to the mankind and we can hear the holy prophet peace be upon him from madina giving his message of love peace and mercy for the whole of mankind and we are honored next to them to have with us the representative from the buddhist community i welcome them the leaders religious leaders of buddhist community from all over europe and hindu community and their great leaders and representatives and sikh community and their great leaders and representatives and i welcome all of them warmly and i would like all of us today to recognize and remember our god our lord the one the only one and everybody believes he is only one we will remember him today and we will remember at the same time the awakening of buddha and we will remember the love of krishna and we will remember the optimism of the six under the roof of this terrestrial paradise may each religion keep its fragrance i wish to conclude i wish to conclude by saying let us all together remember our lord the one who possesses all beauty and all glory let us work together for humanity for the sake of all of us and let us become embodiment of love and peace living on this earth i hope and pray this conference will become the starting point for the revival of a healthy relationship of mutual trust respect and peaceful coexistence between muslim and non muslims of the world and further we announce today after this collective interfaith peace prayer before my speech of the conference an important message for humanity would be announced soon after collective peace prayer a message for humanity which we have called the london declaration for global peace and resistance against extremism declaration 2011 this declaration for global peace and resistance against extremism this is we would like to propagate all over the world and we would wish to be signed by a million people across the world by the end of this year we want this document to become a living document of history 1 million people should be the signatories of the document before the end of this year and then it will continue for millions to millions to show a global solidarity of human kind to help in the cause of global peace and security this declaration addresses each and every one and faith leaders and scholars politicians and community leaders this declaration calls for protection of human rights 
declaration would be properly read for you it will be announced after peace prayer i'm just giving the highlights this declaration calls for protection of human rights this declaration supports the concept of fraternity between all cultures religions and communities of human beings this declaration calls for democracy and good governance in the muslim world this declaration calls for efforts for the alleviation of poverty to combat illiteracy and this declaration calls for a proliferation of weapons and all kinds of threats to our natural environment and ecological health this declaration calls for the increase of aid for africa and other impoverished regions this declaration condemns every kind of racism and xenophobia this declaration supports muslims living in the west to integrate to integrate to integrate and make a positive contribution to the society i hope and pray that this declaration will be a major step towards uniting people to work to go towards peace towards recognizing human equality and to safeguarding human rights and destroying the evils of extremism violence and terrorism thank you very much wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Let's get this prayer together. Let's get it done.